Hello, David here at merchantaccounts.ca. Today I'm going to talk about PCI compliance and WooCommerce and the problem that it sometimes raises, sometimes doesn't. Stay tuned, we'll dig in in one second. So WooCommerce is an awesome platform. It's free, it's popular, it ties into WordPress. There's not a lot to not like. Uh, you know, like, and, and keeping in mind that no solution is perfect, but it's very popular, it's popular for a reason. One of the challenges with running your own software as opposed to using a subscription type platform, something like a Shopify, one of the disadvantages of if you're using Shopify, Shopify's hosting it. It's running on a Shopify server. If there's a problem on a Shopify server, you don't have to worry about it. I guarantee someone's phone's going off, they're on it real quick. But if you're running WordPress and WooCommerce, it means that technical support is on to you. But that's not really the intent of this video. That's a segue into making a point. The point is about PCI compliance. PCI, the payment card industry, data security standard is all about e-commerce security. How does your business handle the sensitive card, credit card numbers that it touches? Well, it's important. It's something that as a business you have to deal with and dealing with it can be a pain. The best way to address it is to never touch or store credit card numbers. It, that if you don't touch credit card numbers at all and you just push the user onto another page. So if you were to look in the URL of the browser window, the page that the customer is on when they're physically typing in their credit card number, if it's off your website, you're almost completely out of scope. You'd, you'd qualify for SAQA, which is the easiest version of the PCI compliance questionnaire. Here's my point. I'm sorry it took almost two minutes to get to, but some payment gateways support advanced integration methods that make it easy to offload the touching of credit card data. Some payment gateways don't. As a result, if you're using WordPress and you're using a payment gateway where the customer's typing the credit card number physically on your website, you probably are more in line for, you're probably in line for one of the more advanced PCI compliance questionnaires. You have to deal with a little bit more challenging version of PCI compliance. This is something to be aware of. There's not an easy solution. I can't do a two minute video and tell you how to deal with it. I could tell you to use a payment gateway where you don't touch the card data, uh, you know, or you could perhaps find a WordPress uh, WooCommerce hosting provider that is PCI compliant. So the problem exists and it's solved and they'll help you with the questionnaire and you know your environment is secure. But most importantly, what you should really do is talk to your chosen payment processor and say, I'm running WooCommerce. This, you know, this is the payment gateway that you, credit card processor, you're telling me to use this gateway. What does that mean for me from, an, from a PCI compliance perspective? And they should be able to give you guidance on what you need to do to be compliant or advice on how to make it easier. At merchantaccounts.ca, we do this all the time. If you are a WooCommerce merchant and you do have questions about PCI compliance or payment processing, feel free to reach out to us at merchantaccounts.ca. We'd be very happy to help. And I could go into further detail. If you want a more deep dive on this, maybe leave a, com a, a comment in the comments area. But I just wanted to make people understand why WooCommerce can sometimes be really easy to use for e-commerce and other times from a PCI compliance perspective, it can be more challenging. And it basically boils down to the integration method that WooCommerce is using when sending transactions to your chosen payment gateway. I hope that makes sense. I hope I did an okay job of explaining it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day there. Bye now.